Hi there beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this really pretty silver prom makeup tutorial for you and it is on my client Emily. So if you want to see how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. The first thing I'm doing is applying a moisturizer all over her face and today I'm using the St. Ives moisturizer and just applying that all over. And then to prime her face and make the foundation really stick and last all day, I'm using the Nivea Men Sensitive, Sensitive Skin Post Shave Balm. And the trick is that you want to rub this all into the skin until it becomes tacky. Now I'll be moving on to her eyes and I'm first priming them using Max Pro Longwear Concealer and applying that all over her lids and then also applying it onto her lower lash line. And once I have it all applied, I will use my fingers and just blend it all out. I grabbed my Real Techniques contour brush and I just dip that into my um, the light shade in the Wet n Wild contour kit and I'm using that to set her eyes. And then just going in with a piece of scotch tape on the outer corners of her eyes and putting that right on so that it will leave a nice clean look and also help with the liner. Using my Morphe blending brush I am going into Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and I am just applying that all the way in the crease and through the outer V. Using that same Morphe blending brush, I am using the color Cocoa Bear, and I am applying this right into the crease and outer V as well, and this will start to add some definition and also add a lot of warmth. Now going in with a stiffer Morphe blending brush, I am taking some of Mocha and applying that directly into that outer V to start to really smoke out the look. Then taking a matte black shadow, I am going to blend that onto the outer crease as well. And as you can tell, this will add a nice smokiness to the look. And I like to do small circular motions to help blend it on as I apply it. Then just taking some of Cocoa Bear and blending out any edges that we may have created with those darker shades. Now I grabbed my Smashbox double sided brush and I dipped it into ColourPop's Liberty and then spritzed it with a little bit of water and then I am really heavily packing that onto the lid, meeting it up with that darker outer V and kind of tapping it lightly to blend it in with the darker outer V. I'm using a Morphe brush without any product on it and just blending out any of the edges and making it nice and seamless. Using that stiffer Morphe blending brush and some of that matte black, I'm going in and just making sure that everything is nice and blended and just doing that on the outer V. Using my e.l.f. small angled brush and some of Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Ebony, I'm going to be going in and just really lightly filling in her brow. She already has a really great brow shape so she doesn't need much. Using that same small e.l.f. angled brush, I am using my e.l.f. black gel liner and creating a wing just following the edge of the tape and then connecting it down toward her lash line. And the reason I like to use the gel liner first is it really helps the liquid liner to stay in place all day. Now I'm going in with my NYC black liquid liner and I am just going over that wing that I created to really sharpen it up. And then I will go ahead and bring that all the way into the inner corner. And yeah, just doing that on both eyes, of course, and I will fix that little smudge of liner on her crease in a little bit. Here I'm just going in with that gel liner and touching up any blank spaces or just any places that are harder to reach with the liquid liner. For her foundation, I am applying a mixture of MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and the Maybelline dewy and smooth foundation and I did a mixture because I wanted it to be a perfect match to her skin and it's also nice to add in that dewy foundation to add a little bit of moisture to her skin as well. So just using that Real Techniques damp sponge to blend it all on. Now I'm going to be highlighting her face and today I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and an Urban Decay Shadow Brush to just apply this to the areas that I want to highlight. So underneath her eyes in a triangle shape, between her brows, and also down the bridge of her nose. And then I will be applying some on her chin as well. And then I'm going back in with that damp Real Technique sponge and just using that to pat it in. And be sure to pat and not swipe because you want the coverage and the color to stay right where you placed it.
Now we're going to set everything in place and today I'm using my big Mary Kay powder brush and some of the Mary Kay translucent powder and just dusting that all over her face. And like I said, this will just set everything and it will brighten up some areas as well. Using my BH Cosmetics angled brush, I am grabbing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and using a mixture of all three shades of the contour powders and applying that onto her cheekbones to carve them out, um, onto her neck and chin, and then also along her hairline. And then I'm also using the Real Techniques contour brush to kind of carve out or at least add some definition to her nose. With that Real Techniques contour brush, I am using the lightest shade in the Anastasia Contour and Highlight Kit, and it's the highlighting shade, of course, and just applying that to the areas that we highlighted with the concealer to really brighten everything up once again. And then I also use it to clean, <coughs> to clean up the contour as well. And then for blush, I'm using that same Beige Cosmetics Angled Brush in the two sh um, shades on the right side of the e.l.f. palette. And just applying a mixture of that onto her cheeks and blending it backwards towards her hairline. And then I'm using a fan brush in some of the Wet n Wild Rose Champagne Glow Highlighter and applying this to the high points of her face. And this is going to add a really nice glow to her skin. Now I already had her curl her lashes and applied a coat of mascara and then I am just going in and setting some false lashes on. These are just a pair of no name lashes and just setting the inner and outer corners first. And here she's just adding NYX's Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk to her waterline. Moving back to her lower lash line, I am using some of Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie on a small brush and just really blending and smoking that out onto her lower lash line. Next, I'm using this really small brush by Real Techniques and some of Mocha, and I'm going to be applying that right at her lash line and kind of blending it out downwards and connecting it to that inner corner. Then to add even more definition, I am using that same brush in some of a matte black shadow and just pushing that in towards her lashes and blending it downward into that mocha shade. And as always, I'm using my NYC Black Liquid Liner to hide the lash band. I'm using NYX's Silver Liner and applying that right onto the inner corner and this is going to help to make that inner corner area really pop. Then I am setting that with Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer and applying that pretty heavily to her inner corner. I'm using white from the Lorac Pro Palette and just putting that right under her brow bone to really highlight and bring that forward. And then of course I am using a blending brush to blend everything together and get rid of any rough edges. And then lastly to complete the look I am applying the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid lipstick or liquid lip color in the color nude thrill and I love this shade on her it looks so pretty and just so yeah just applying that all over her lips all right and here you have the finished prom tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this different video for me today don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe I will see you all soon thank you so much for watching bye beauties